Hello folks, uh, I'm in the workshop, quite cold actually, uh, as we all know it's been snowing on and off the last few days and it's about 2 degrees above freezing in here today. Uh, but what I'm going to talk about today is a scope I got just before Christmas. Uh, I got it, I think the size of it suits ball pups okay. And I was thinking about getting the uh, uh, Diana K98 rifle, and I thought it would look good on that as well, a bit more more authentic than a normal scope would. Uh, but this one, uh, I got it from uh, AliExpress in, in China. Really clear glass when you look through it, nice reticule, and uh, it's also an illuminated reticule as well which uh, has six different brightness levels of, in red and it don't illuminate the whole of the reticle, just the centre part uh, it is designed, looking at it the actual reticle, it's designed for military use so it will suit uh, like an AR type rifle rather than an air rifle because of what it's designed for uh, I chose this one because it's one of the smaller scopes that actually goes up to eight times the magnification, uh, and that's really the bare minimum you want if you're uh, you've got an air rifle for target work. Uh, and because of the actual magnification on it, it won't suit uh, target shooters, paper target shooters, as much as it would a hunter. The reason that uh, the US like these so much is because they use proper firearms and the bullets they shoot are like 5.56 NATO or 7.62 NATO type rounds so they're aiming centre mass and it, if you miss by 3 or 4 inches the, the, the actual sheer energy of something like that was going to kill the uh, kill the animal, whereas in uh, air gun terms you're looking at a 5 pence piece or 18mm to 2 centimetres to do a, a brain shot on a squirrel or something like that. Uh, so I'd say for paper punching it's okay up to 30 yards with an air gun. Uh, if you rub it in it's still usable up to 40 yards anyway for an air gun because you bear to it what you're aiming at. Uh, right then, so it, it's got nice turrets on it, they lock in turrets so you lift them up to make your adjustments and you can hear it clicking, uh, that's on the uh, elevation on the, uh, on the windage and then on the left hand side instead of that being a, an actual parallax that's your actual illuminator on, on the left hand side and the good thing with this illuminator is you'll, you'll click it once you'll get the light on, you'll click it again and it'll go off so it's it's on off on off between each of the settings from uh, 1 to 6 uh, the actual mounts on it I bought separately and these are quite nice mounts actually, these are called uh, so I've done Cobra mounts, that's it. So they're Cobra mounts and they cost £8 each. The actual scope itself that cost me £63 2p in conversion or about $83. Uh, came with the two uh, end caps, the covers, lens covers. Uh, the focusing is done at the back, like I say that's uh, one and a half times to uh, eight times on that. Uh, it does uh, <clears throat> does focus down really well, actually. So as the camera stands in there, you're probably about uh, I'd say 12 to 14 feet away, and it's in nice focus, and that's on three times. So obviously go down to one and a half really clear. Right. 
so it goes up to about three and a half times before it starts losing focus at 14 feet. So uh, I say we're only like four paces away, three or four paces away, and uh, you, you can you've got a good uh, good view through the site. Obviously, by the time you get to eight times, it, it goes out of focus. You're too close. So uh, I would imagine on on eight times you'll be uh, on full focus. You, you should get a good picture at uh, 30 feet. So really nice scope. Thought he'd like to see it. Uh, I fired at a target to try and get you a bird's eye view through the target earlier, but uh, through the uh, the phone camera, it was it didn't do it justice. Put it that way. Just when the uh, when the actual picture was in focus, the erratical was out of focus and vice versa. So I did the best I could with it, but uh, believe you me, it's uh, it's a nice clear picture. Seems to be shooting okay. Uh, obviously, when you're looking through a phone camera, uh, you've got a, like a four-inch uh, uh, screen, and the scope's in the middle, so you're looking at a two-inch, more or less a two-inch square. Through that, at uh, I did have it on eight times, I think. But when you're looking at something at two two inches on the screen to look at a target that was uh, only probably about five millimeter it's really odd for me to actually see it myself you'll see it better than I can through the phone uh, but I still end up getting a, a decent group uh, probably a two centimeter group just looking for a, a phone camera and I can understand that why uh, most uh, youtubers now are getting the phone camera attachments uh, that are using a uh, prism like the side shot or the new ones from Eagle Vision, so I might I might get an Eagle Vision one eventually, but they are still talking two hundred quid. Uh, so you can put you can either put your phone on the side or or GoPro, but I, I think I'd use my phone because you, then you're talking another five hundred quid for a GoPro, so it's just all expense. I don't uh, monetize my channel. Uh, do that for a few reasons really. But uh, I think if you start monetizing your channels, you, you tend to look at what you're producing more because of the uh, the advertising side of it. And uh, I think you get a bit more leeway when you don't. Obviously, it does affect me because uh, everything I put into the channel, I pay for it myself. So uh, you need to better way up the pros and cons. Uh, so that's basically it, really. A nice little scope I got, say, just before Christmas. I have got another scope that I bought just after this one. Uh, that was a, a Firewolf scope. Again, really nice scope. Uh, I think that was 8 by 32 by 56. Uh, whether those uh, actual zoom uh, indicators are right, I don't know. But it, it's pretty good anyway. It's got a nice reticle and that's illuminated in uh, red and green. And it is a really nice reticle. Uh, it, it does give me good results, so uh, I think that was about £86. So you can pick up good scopes uh, through AliExpress, who obviously it means importing from China, but when you look at most scopes, most modern day well known branded scopes, they're made in China anyway. So uh, I think what you'll find, you'll be getting scopes that are made for Hawk that are going on with different brands, and it's the same with this Doctor one. So that's what it's called, it's called a doctor, I don't know why. Uh, but yeah, I really like the scope, suits the uh, ball pop okay. Uh, but like I say, it's not really designed for paper punching at long distance, but uh, quite adequate. You can still be shooting 50, 60 yards at tin cans and spinners. Uh, it just means you, you can't really see well enough to know what how, you, how well you're shooting with it. Uh, but the illuminated reticle is good and they just look like a gun sight, that kind of shape in red. Uh, just basically line it up so you've got the uh, the inner post sitting just under this under the target. And uh, 
that's it really. So uh, just a short video. Well, like I say, I'll show you the uh, little video I did do. Whether it'll come out very well, I don't know. Uh, but just to give you some idea, I will show you the, what the reticle looks like on a different background. Uh, but it is a nice reticle. So uh, that's it for now. Before I freeze to death in here, uh, I have over the last. Uh, couple of days I've been sorting the lights out because over the last what, I mean, uh, 10 months now I've had no lights in here an electrician came in and did it all told him we got a problem but the Covid thing they won't come out so I've ended up fixing it myself getting a new panel light uh, basically there must have been something wrong, wrong with the actual switch because what I've done I've got two uh, LED Look like fluorescent tubes, but they're actually LED lights, so it saves on energy. Got two of those running on one switch, and I've got two panel lights at the back where the camera is now, and they're running on another one. Uh, I do intend to get another baton light to go up that end of the uh, workshop, but uh, just behind me at the top, I've got a green screen there, so if you You'll probably see me sometimes when you think, where the hell is he doing this from? But it's just a green screen background, just to, just for fun really. Uh, but that's it for now. Thanks for watching and let's hope it warms up soon enough and uh, everybody gets any inoculations and things get back to normal. Uh, next time I'll probably show you the other scope. Uh, but for now that's it and uh, I'll see you in the next video. Okay then, so what I've actually done, uh, yeah, I've got a decent view through, uh, through the actual camera now, so you can see the reticle, I've got the illuminator on, you can see the little red post there, I've got a little dot on the side. Uh, what I'll do, I'll try and get the rifle secure and uh, I'll do some clicks with the uh, turrets just to see... Uh, how accurate it is doing the box test so uh, I'll just set it up and we'll carry on ok then uh, try as best I can Let's, you can see the red dot above well, I've set it up for where it's at which is just below it uh, So, I'll start off by two, three, four, five. It's about sixty three to the right. Down. That will start off from so a lot of clicks in there. That's 63 clicks each direction to get to where I was there. So we're back to the start. Uh, so uh, that's a box test. So didn't do too bad looking at it. Okay. 
Okay then folks, uh, this is a view through the scope. Uh, looking down range, it's 25 to 5 in the day now, night, uh, getting on to early in the evening. Uh, so that's a view down the range. Uh, the actual reticle is illuminated, it's got six different settings. And it's just the centre that illuminates. Uh, that's not very clear, but it's a lot clearer than that through the side, put it that way. <clears throat> so, let's see how it goes. Now this is all about zero at the moment, so I'm going to keep the same point of aim. And see how it groups. But, uh, okay. I can get any clearer. Trying to self focus. Zoomed out a bit there. Zoom in a bit. I'm trying to get it to focus on the reticle, but. Got the reticle, but not, not the target. I think you get the point. It's just a, a camera thing uh, rather than a scope. So I'm going. So if I'm, uh... There we go. There's your reticle. There we go. Right. No, it's called cool. back to the reticle now, but uh, that's a reticle. It just illuminates the centre of it. So uh, that's got six settings, in between each setting it's an off. And an on. But, uh, that's it from there. 